Hi, we're recording. It's Marina. And we are doing a plan with me for Monday, April 19th. The fuck? Um, last week you saw me plan out this April 12th. Here is how the end of last week went. I've been starting to like not track on the weekends again. That was a thing I used to do back in the day. I don't know if that's me like returning to some normal or what, but that's happening. My quotes from last week were, the creation of a thousand forests is in one acorn. Also, we're gonna talk a lot about what's in our hearts because it makes a difference in how we run our business. That's Jackie Peterson. She's a local business coach and she's amazing. Never regret your mistakes. Admire the courage it took to attempt the unknown. I know some of those are repeats, but I just like looking at the finished week. And then here's this week. We're basically here. I have not tracked at all today. Um, you'll see that I like kind of, I don't know, I've been kind of half-assed tracking lately. I've been thinking about, what have I been thinking about? Well, let's go through the quotes that I have so far this week. It's all tea. <laughs> Let your heart speak to others' hearts. The beauty of the soul is constant, continuous, and endless. There is pleasure in the pathless woods. I really like this one. These two I actually found. We got a new rug. Let me check and make sure that this thing is fucking square. Okay, good. We got a new rug. Um, and so like we like cleaned our living room and like took all the furniture out, put the new rug down. Put the furniture back in a new arrangement. I really like our new furniture arrangement. But anyway, when we were doing all of this, I found these two that I had just like let fall behind like a table. <laughs> and then this one was on the tea that I made for my husband last night. Um, Cause his throat hurt. And I just like, I've been thinking, I think that's why like tracking has been kind of like a thing for me lately. I've just been thinking so much about what is up with structure, you know? At first I was thinking about, well, let me just start putting some dates in. Here's the tools of my trade. You might notice that I took out my Pilot Metropolitan. The dude, ha the dude rollerball has really been taking the place of the Pilot Metropolitan a lot because he doesn't like, he's not as juicy and he doesn't like bleed as much. And I think the ink is like not as water soluble, so. Um, Pilot Metropolitan got a new home and I've also been putting my Pilot Falcon in here because the Pilot Falcon is hella juicy and needs to stand up and this guy will stand up. So that's been what's up with my pens, but <sighs> no other changes to pen world right now. But, um, let's talk about been thinking a lot about structures you know like um I don't know if I'm gonna go to this I signed up for it and I didn't realize it was at 10 o'clock in the morning I was like that's a lot <laughs> but I got nothing else to do today except um our guy is working on our patio so I won't be able to go out into the patio um but that's it for the rest of this week I'm actually recording at a different time, so let me put that in there and erase this guy. And, oh, oops, it's like four almost. So I'm recording a little bit until lunch. It's okay, I'll eat something as soon as I go in. Do, 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 do. This went long because we love to talk and I love to talk with my friends. But anyway, I've been thinking about the structures, you know, of like, um, oh, and I already posted the plan with me today. I was on top of that. That was so nice. Oh, and I did the Thursday after yesterday. Um... I've just been thinking about the structures that we put ourselves in. You know, some of it's planning. You know, planning is a structure. 
Some of it is also just like business structures, you know, like what's the hierarchy of the business? How do we do things? What are our workflows? All that kind of stuff, you know, like what do we, what's up with that? Oh, and I moved Maureen because I am taking that day off. Um, do, do, do. Also, our barbecue comes this day. We got a new barbecue to go with our new patio. Ba 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 ba. Okay. Monday, nothing changes. Uh uh uh. Uh 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 uh. Oh, book club. I forgot to put book club. 5.30. But I just was thinking about structures and like I used to think that oh I should use this thing it's all bumpy because there's stickers on both sides of the page um but I've just been thinking about how we do things how we do work Should I, like one of the things I used to say as a manager is, I provide a big boundary and make it really pronounced, right? Just like one of these boxes. And then within the boundary, the people who work with me and for me, we have expectations of each other, whatever. They can do whatever they want within that boundary. And I had been thinking a lot about like, is the boundary, is that really what we need, you know? Is that really helpful, this boundary? And then I was like, well, I don't know, you know, what if... Oh, no, wait, it's not at our house. Because our patio is going to be worked on today. This day. Um... Um, and then we have budget reconciliation. And then Ben is going to play D&D with his friends. So then let's go to the next day and get it together. Oh, I need my, um, this thing. So I'm going to put in these black lines with the dude rollerball. Oh, also it looks like we're going to need to block out this calendar so anyway I was thinking of that and I was like you know what if instead of having a big um thick border in which people can do the creative work that they need what if I was thinking more of myself as like a trellis or like the base of a pyramid you know like strong sturdy allowing for upward and outward growth that's not constrained what does it look like to be a leader in that framework, in that structure? And then I was reading my friend's newsletter because we were also, me and her were also talking about it like a little bit, teeny bit. This is one thing I like about working um, on, on projects that like a lot of people think are like, avant-garde is not the right term, but you work in spaces that are still being constructed. You know, you're working in is it liminal space that it's called? I can't remember. But you're working in a place that like has yet to form a cohesive structure. That's really one of my favorite things about the way that I do work at my job. Um, is it's all sort of a lot of innovative work, innovation based work. Um, which is a form of mind work. And mind work is labor, y'all. Don't let anybody fool you into thinking that it's not. Um, but anyway, when we're talking about creating new structures of working, we're talking about creating new structures for community at work, for human beings to exist in and around in this thing, you know? 
I'm thinking about being a trellis. I'm thinking about being a support. I'm thinking about being a structure. She was talking about being an arch, you know? It's not, uh, every piece needs to be there. The thing collapses. There's no top-down situation. There's no big box. There's, there's a structure to go around. But then she was like, she wrote this newsletter. It was like, borders, when you put a border around something, borders make it safe for the thing to exist and grow inside of it. Now I'm like, oh, but does it need to be safe? I mean, I think kind of, yeah, like in a lot of ways, right? Safe from what I'm writing. What does this body need and movement? I want to write it in a prettier color. Let's see if this blue still works. What? Does this body need? And I want to talk about this field too. Like it's been interesting trying to have this field in my planner because sometimes I fill it out after I've figured it out. Like for example, let me show you. Um, so on Monday, we had lunch on the patio. On Tuesday, we rearranged the living room. On Wednesday, these two I wrote after I had done that thing and I realized like, oh shit, that's what my body needed. And then this one I wrote chill out time. Turns out that was also what my body needed to delegate. That I figured out after I decided to delegate, but before I had actually delegated. So it's kind of like a running log of like what I'm realizing, like when I do something and I'm like, oh, I needed that. I really needed that. I'm actually going to put, you know what I'm going to put for today to eat? I'm going to put a different color though. Do, 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 do. I think I talked to you in the planner, but I might have just also been talking to you about it in my weekly updates. I have been um, just really frustrated by my eating schedule. Oh, if it's your first time here, these blocks of color are when I'm supposed to eat. This block of color is when I sleep. So I'm a night owl. I go to sleep around two or three. Um, but I just, that feels like a lot of times to eat throughout the day, although that's the schedule that really works the best for me. It just feels onerous. And so I get upset. I don't want to do it. When the meal time comes around, I get mad. I, you know, I'm like, oh, I don't want to eat anything. And I'm still mostly like eating, but just kind of like with resentment, which is not really how you want to live your life. But it's still like, I just get mad, you know, at how much. I have to stop my day and eat, you know? Like I don't have one, two, three hours at max is the continuous hours I can do something before I have to stop if I can eat something, which I think that's actually healthy. Like I think that's how it should be, but also like annoys me. I don't like being told what to do. Like I don't even like me telling myself what to do. I'm the one that's like, you need to eat, stupid head. But then me, I am like, no, fuck you. I won't do what you tell me. Which is a problematic stance when you have um, certain things you have to be pretty hard-ass about. Like eating. Okay, let's... Do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do. Do-do-do. Um, class... But anyway, that's what I mean. It's like that asking myself or and or stating, stating after the fact, after I realize it, what does this body need? Very helpful. I think it's really helping me come awake to the fact that I do have needs and, um, oh, I need to cancel this. I think I already did cancel it, but let me just, I'm going to write it on here.
I used to have a monthly planner meeting and I started just, I mean, people, you know, were like, oh yeah, this is fun. I know how to do this now. And then kind of like the numbers to the planner meeting sort of dwindled. And I realized also that like I wasn't getting anything out of it. So I stopped doing it, but it's still on my calendar. 5.32.6 is usually when we meet. Do 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 do. Seven thirty to eight. I've actually been having dinner early on these nights. So I'm gonna write a red thing around here that's like dinner. I'm gonna go do the same to this one too, because this meeting goes half an hour into dinner. I just want to make sure that I like don't wait super long to eat. Do 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 do. Two thirty. But anyway, we're thinking about structures, we're thinking about arches, we're thinking about trellises. And this is an abstract, like I know it sounds fucking abstract, but it's not. This is like, when I'm thinking about this, I'm also like making plans, making, you know, who reports to who, how does that reporting go? Like, um, not just for everything, obviously. But one of the things I dislike about philosophy, I'm not good at philosophy. I don't like talking about philosophy. I think it's kind of stupid. I have to remind myself to snack if I'm gonna push a lunch. Um, but like, so see just this, this, this expression. This is a lot of boxes. Like not only am I putting literal boxes in here, I'm putting guidelines. I'm putting all this stuff, you know, the fact that the my lunches and my meals and my sleeping is delineated by this watercolor is not just, these are all the colors that are coming up by the way, if you wanna see them. It's not just, it's not an accident, you know? I am doing this because I want a framework like, actually, look, if we look at my old journal, I've shown these before on, on this thing. But if we look at my old, let's find um, a monthly page or a weekly page when I did my bullet journaling. Not only are these, like, it's very similar in function, or I put that off the screen. It's very similar in function. But when you're looking at this, these are, not only are they literal, hard outlines, they're so weighty on the page that they have a motherfucking shadow around these motherfuckers. You know what I mean? So, and even when things are canceled, I just little do a little cross out. I don't, you know? And then the time tracking is all coded. It's very, it's heavy. These lines are hard. You know, these, this is when my meals were back then. These lines are hard. Also, <laughs> these meal lines are motherfucking 15 minutes. This is how bad I was at figuring out how the fuck to eat. I didn't get it. But, you feel me? Like, now we have this more wavy form. It's more natural. It's more organic. It has, like, differ differentiations in it. It changes day to day because I understand that the days change day to day. Like this, that old way that I did my bullet journal and did my calendar was very much a structure that resisted the, the natural movement of the world. And now here we have this is getting closer to being, you know, not only do we have 
the natural movement of the world being taken account into account. We also have me writing down what actually happened and then using decor to sort of like accent that, you know? And then I didn't, you know, I didn't track a couple weeks ago. So I just put a bunch of stickers. Like it's far more like, I mean, this is obviously organic cause like all the leaves and the flowers and shit, but it feels far more organic. And also is there an even more organic form that not just the planner, I'm not just talking about the planner, I'm talking about all of my work that this can take. And does that purely organic form leave the things inside or does it take away the inside? Does it leave the things that I am trying to build this organic form for, does it leave them open to the elements? And is that too much? Like, this is the kind of shit I think about. And like I said, not this isn't a philosophy. I will apply these. <laughs> Once I come to some kind of conclusion of something, I will apply it. It will become a part of how I do things. Not just how I fill out my planner, but how I do my, my reporting at work. How um, I think about goals. How I structure the offerings the company has. This is why I think... I think they teach philosophy in school wrong. Philosophy is taught like a history. Same with math, they do it wrong. Obviously I'm, you know, just one person, but these are my opinions. They do math and philosophy wrong because they think that they're dead, they're static, or they act like they are when that's, not the truth. And I think for both math and philosophy, even though I hated math in school, I would say that, oh, I gotta do prep for this. Mm, I'm gonna move this prep up here. Okay, good. That um, is me starting my day a little bit early, but that's okay. I can end early because I'm in charge. Um, 29, 3 p.m. But we teach philosophy and math as if they're dead. And I think that that's actually a, that's a strategy for, you know, capitalist public schooling. I think that the reason we teach them as if they're dead is because if you knew that both math and philosophy were living things and that both of those are having continuous ongoing effects on the world and that you personally could contribute to those effects. Oh, that's a lot of, empow a lot of empowerment to give a child stuck in an institution of learning like public school. You know what I mean? That could change lives, I feel. What is this? Ah, yes. Mm, Friday at two. I'll do that. Well, uh, 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 uh. sometimes I don't know if I'm supposed to be meeting someone on a professional level or a personal level, but I'll kind of like put professional color. Um, just because um, I met them in that context. Oh, I didn't put in my recording times. You know, I almost never actually record on these times, but I feel like it helps me. Like it gives me a guideline. Do, 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 do. It's too late. Oh no. Um. Okay, let's try to record here. Friday is gonna be 
this recording is going to be a hard one because I have so much to do. Invoice day. I need to move invoices to the third. Because it's on a Saturday. Do, do, do. Oh, ooh, also, everybody's getting a raise. <laughs> Raises. Makes me happy. I love paying people more. It makes me very, very happy. All right, everything else on here is like speculative and will be cemented more by the time we get there. So I'm just gonna leave it there, but let's put a little weekend banner. So I wanna use these um, weekend stickers I got from Studio 1005. Let's see. Let's use this one, but let's also get some washi to put there, or maybe a label. Let's get a label to put there. Let's see. Um, how are we on time? Oh Jesus, it's almost 30 minutes. This is gonna be a long one. Do 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 do. But anyway, I know I hope <laughs> you like my Ridiculous rambling about structure. Is this, do these little ones, does it fit? It does. Do I want to put a green one? No, I wish I had like a, something that complements purple but isn't purple. Like this gold or orange, gold or orange. Gold is the oppositional color. A complementary color to purple is like blue or red maybe, but there is no blue. Unless I want a big one. No, I'll do, ooh, I'm gonna do this emerald green, but then that weekend isn't gonna stand out. Whatever will I do? I'll do this lighter green or sea foam or whatever this is. Um. Hard decisions, you know? Gotta contemplate a lot of shit when you're planning. Let's actually do a purple weekend. Do, do, do. Okay, that's cute. I got all these yoga stickers when I was doing yoga a bunch, and then I haven't done yoga for a while. Oopsie. I'll come back around to it. Everything's in cycles. I think sometimes we get too like bent out of shape when we like don't um, do things like consistently. It's like, bitch, chances are you're gonna be like at least 80. So there's no such thing as consistency. Shit changes. All right, with that, I'll see you next week. Bye.